Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And today, of course, we got version 17.30, so we are going to go over that update right now. Fortnite Battle Royale version 17.30 update, the Gravitron and the abduction of Slurpy Swamp. Sent to the hot saucers mailing list, they say even ordinary things can be a hazard. And the aliens have taken that to heart. So much has been tossed around with the saucers tractor beams, and now there's this new Gravitron thing. Here's everything we know about this resourceful alien weapon file attached. Mary. File on the Gravitron. Sometimes called a UFO in your hands by the I.O. or a portable ordinary aircraft by the aliens, you can use this weapon to pull objects that are in front of you. Uh, This one's a doozy. Pull in an object with its flying disc, take it along with you, then launch it at an opponent. How much damage it deals depends on how big it is, what it's made of, and its launch speed. The Gravitron isn't only for offense. If you have an object pulled in, that object will block damage coming from in front of you until it can endure damage no longer. Also, try using the Gravitron to catch incoming explosives and propel them back. Gravitrons can be found in chests, on top of abductors, and inside the mothership. Uh, Let's see here. What else is new in Fortnite Battle Royale version 17.30? Slurpy Swamp Scramble. Planned from the very beginning, the aliens have unleashed their their newest tactic, abducting certain POIs. A giant tractor beam from the mothership currently envelops Slurpy Swamp, lifting this industrial district to its untimely demise a poi being abducted may be a cause for concern but you could also look at it as a new battle strategy an entire district like slurpy slurpy swamp is quite heavy so the tractor beam has no choice but to break it up into chunks as it lifts it while you're in the low gravity tractor beam jump from platform to platform maneuvering around your opponents with nimbleness abducting a whole poi isn't something that happens overnight so keep checking back throughout the week to see how the abduction has progressed and i gotta tell you this is really cool uh area right now i mean it's like they said it's low gravity uh, the whole entire area that's underneath the tractor beam is low gravity so you can jump around when you uh, use a launch pad it sends you way up high in the air uh you know it's uh you know there's no fall damage when you're inside the tractor beam so <laughs> you know you don't have to worry about uh dying to fall damage in this area it's really a uh, really fun area i i only got to play a little bit of the update this morning before i had to head out to work but i got to tell you i was having a blast uh landing at slurpy swamp a uh, new ltm team brawl enjoy the close combat of a small storm circle want to get right back into the action after respawning in the new team brawl limited time mode compete with your team to reach 60 eliminations before the other team if you get eliminated you'll respawn by plummeting to the ground instead of skydiving ensuring you get back to the brawl right away you'll be given a new loadout at the start of each time you respawn matches take place at a single poi and the poi's non-player buildings are extra strong for better protection the other team out doing yours don't throw in the towel yet if they're too far ahead in eliminations you'll be lended a helping hand all the team's players will become marked in your view and visible behind walls these effects expire when the lead lowers by a certain amount Team Brawl will go live on August 5th, 2021 at 9 a.m. Eastern. Get ready for this fast-paced new mode. And honestly, that does sound pretty fun. So that'll be one I, I check out when uh, once we get it. And then we have balance changes. The IO R&D has paid off. The pulse rifle now does more damage when aiming down sights. The heavy assault rifle now deals increased damage, has a slightly reduced fire rate, and for the first few shots has a higher accuracy than before. So uh, if you aren't a heavy AR user, you might want to check it out now and see if you like the feel of it any better and see if it becomes your new uh, main AR. 
Uh, the major bug fixes for Battle Royale, they fixed an issue with the Fortnite's 3D headphones option on PlayStation 5 in which stereo sounds wouldn't spatialize, resulting in the stereo sounds being 2D. This would especially impact close-range gunfire. Please note, in order for the 3D headphones option in Fortnite to take effect, 3D audio must be enabled in your PlayStation 5 system settings. They fix an issue involving vehicle radios not playing at times when trying to turn them on. They fix an issue involving vehicles driving erratically caused by the player in control being in a prop state. Vehicles can no longer be interacted with if the player is in a prop state. And miscellaneous, please know that the Grabatron is not present in competitive playlists. Also, uh, a quick little update about that as well. They did... Uh, uh, so one of the things that you cannot grab with a Grabatron right now is vehicles. So you can't grab cars with it. Uh, I don't know what the issue was. I know there was some sort of uh, glitch that was happening uh, from what I read earlier. So I know that they uh, made it so that it can't grab vehicles for the time being. But uh, hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. The other piece of news that we have, uh, more Street Fighter items, okay? Round 2, Street Fighters Cami and Guile, Soldier on in Fortnite. Uh, here comes two new challengers, iconic Street Fighter stars Cami and Guile, are coming to the item shop on August 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern. And honestly, I love playing Street Fighter 2 uh, and Turbo when I was a kid. Uh, I, I had them on my Super Nintendo and absolutely uh, love Street Fighter. Guile was one of my favorites, of course. So pretty cool to see him coming in Fortnite. No need for talk, let's do this. Marking his way from the air base to the battle bus, Guile, in all his flat top glory, touches down in Fortnite. The Guile outfit showcases the classic green fatigues first worn in the original Street Fighter 2 and adds a beach-ready glistening Guile variant and KO back bling. Uh, for those who wish, for those who I wish to protect, I will fight you. Uh, a member of Delta Red, Cami is ready for action alongside the classic Cami outfit. You'll also be able to equip the Borealis Backer Back Bling and Tactical Cami variant. Interests, interested in both worlds, both world warriors, the Cami and Guile bundle includes both outfits and back blings and adds the round two loading screen as a bonus. And uh, it's a pretty cool loading screen. Uh, round out your classic Capcom looks with the Cami and Guile gear bundle. The bundle features Guile's Knuckle Buster pickaxe, Cami's Delta Red Bowie Blade pickaxe, and the V-Trigger ve Vector Glide, inspired by the original Guile stage. Uh, let's see here. Cami Cup. You'll have the opportunity to win the Cami outfit and Borealis backer back bling before it hits the item shop by competing in the Cami Cup on August 5th. Grab a friend and square off in this duo's tournament. Top performing teams in each region will receive the Cami Outfit Borealis Backer Back Bling, and any team that earns at least 8 points will receive the Round 2 loading screen. Uh, the Cami Cup will run for 3 hours in each region, and teams will have a maximum of 10 games to earn as many points as possible. The scoring breakdown is as follows. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of the scoring for you uh, you can look that up uh but eligible participants must have 2fa set up on their uh epic account and have an epic account at level 30 or higher which you can find in the career tab in game please read the official cami cup rules for more details and check the compete tab in game to know when your region's cup begins all right so pretty cool uh that they're adding street fighter in cool update today so a lot of uh good news today and fun news uh now we're out of the news though so let's go ahead and look at what we have in the ltms looks like team rumble uh the 16 versus 16 domination uh the um dark minds murder mystery skyland and battle lab in the item shop today we have uh let's take a look uh, the Snake Eyes is still here. We have the Baki outfit with the Moki backlink for 1,200. The Chromium outfit for 1,200. The Make It Plantain emote for 500. The Windmill Floss emote for 500. The Rockout emote for 800. The Gun Show emote for 200. 
Uh, we have the Arc Outfit with the Arc Wings Back Bling for 2000 the Divine Wrap for 500 the Virtue Harvesting Tool for 800 the Malcor Outfit with the Malcor Wings Back Bling for 1500 the Evil Eye Harvesting Tool for 1200 the Asmodeus Outfit with the Ocular Back Bling for 1200 the Callisto Outfit with the Hexed Back Bling for 1200 the Foul Play Harvesting Tool for 800 the Batso Glider for 800. Uh, we got the Mecha Team Leader outfit with the Jet Set Back Bling Turbocharged Built in Emote for 1,600. Combo Cleavers Harvesting Tool for 800. Mecha Team Wrap for 500. Team Mech Emote for 100. Team Monster for 100. Chomp Senior outfit with the Shark Fin Back Bling for 2,000. The Chomp Junior Harvesting Tool for 1,500. The Laser Chomp Glider for 1,500. Uh, we have the Bloodsport Bundle. So we got the Bloodsport Outfit. Remember from the Suicide Squad, Assassin and Expert Marksman. Comes with the Starro Specimen Backbling. He's under control for now. The bundle also includes the Argus Saber Harvesting Tool for when your normal weapon just won't do. The Bloodsport Camo Wrap Show Your Style. And then it has the Springing Harley Spray. The He's a Shark Spray. It's Peacemaker Spray, and I'm a Superhero Spray. Uh, so you get all of that for 1,800 V-Bucks. That's 800 V-Bucks off the total. If you get them separate, Bloodsport Outfit with the Starro Specimen Back Bling is 1,500. The Argus Saber Harvesting Tool is 800. The Bloodsport Camo Wrap is 300. And yeah, I guess it looks like the only way to get the sprays is if you get the bundle. But that's everything in the item shop today. So you can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E in the item shop. And some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. I saw in the Discord that uh, Dusky was uh, talking about a tip with the Gravitron. And that is that uh, the, one of the other things that the Gravitron tron can pick up is the recon scanner um bullets that you shoot out that uh scan right uh normally they would just sit there and you would only be able to see uh, what is in the radius of the, where the bullet is sitting but now with the gravitron you can grab that recon scanner uh, shell that it shoots out to scan with, you grab it through your Gravitron and you can walk around with it. So now you'll be able to, on the go, be able to detect enemies, which is such a big advantage over your opponents uh, that you could be walking around and just, you know, run into them and see exactly where they are. You know, a lot of times you would, you might hear that they're nearby or you might not. They might just be sitting behind a wall somewhere camping out and you wouldn't know. But now that you can bring this thing, you can, you know, use an active recon scanner, grab it and walk around with it. You can find your opponents very easily. So that's a pretty cool little tip with that one. Uh, let's see here, guys. That's the episode for today. Make sure you go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.